Ghostly Immortal. Weight division bout. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that. The man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. Body out of Lafayette, Louisiana, assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, U.S. Dragon Lee. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready? Ready? All right, well, we are just about ready for live action, but we would be remiss if we did not throw out a special happy birthday to the veteran voice of the doctor, Bruce Buffer. Happy birthday to the most interesting man in the world. Happy birthday, Buff. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. Both fighters get up now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 
that's a big strike right there. Lee gets absolutely punished. Good action early. Hands up, hands up. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight right lands. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Beautiful punch. Can't take many of those, you better check. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Wow, huge head kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just misses there with the left. Stuff to take down, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like on his feet right now. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch the MMA a ball and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Big kick lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Just misses with the left hook. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, oh, there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to That's end the night. Nice scramble right there. Beautiful transition. See if he can finish. So one more minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. This fight's gonna be over decent. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh! Round two coming up next. Okay, stop. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Straight punch land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Officially rocked. A big mess. Trying to stay in the 
this fight. Beautiful knee. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, nice right hand, John. Hands up, hands up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, collar tie. Straight right is there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Dig and kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Lee goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. All right, single collar tie now. Big knee lands. Nice punch here. And both guys really flowing with authority. On that leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happened when this guy hits his double leg. Lance with the ground and pound here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. It rains out big strikes in your opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love a grappling can really be entertaining. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Nice one, two there. Great punch. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Try to establish that jab. Pretty good right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That one snuck in. Nice right. Boy, tie plump. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. The left punch is true. Now the right hand stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick land. Huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, 
That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? Using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, he might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Now connects with a right, and they separate. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a body kick! Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That's what I'm talking about. Keep coming in. Just, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Shot. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Visibly limping here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So he oh! So inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, that's a good right hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Good work from the top here by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. He's got his back now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Sound strike on the ground. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. Nice punch by Lee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there and just... He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And they separate. Oh, straight right. Ooh, 
what a punch. Oh. How about those five minutes? Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Flicks the guard, lands the right hand. Flush right hand is true. Work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Back to the feet now. Look at the whip action that comes to his solo neck. Elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lee gets in the... What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. That's a nice body kick right under the elbow. He got his bag! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Work here in that position by Lee. Right hand on point. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch, Lance. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. There we go. Under two minutes to go. The biggest shot that he's landed. Inside the closed guard now. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Drive his chin and control his body with that body kick. Look at the... He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg. Landed that punch flush. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh! Huge right hand! Well, you gotta 
he working off of your back? He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Throws the right hand there. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here tonight. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's in. He's out. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at four minutes. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings.